Hi, I'm going to show you how to use the a few of the flares in the Sun Flare set. So you have your image open in the Expert module of Elements. I'm using Elements 12. However, everything I'm showing you can be done in Elements 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So you're going to have your image open and then you're going to navigate to where you saved your folder that you downloaded. Okay, so file and then place and then we're going to navigate. So I have it saved on my desktop and I just have a little mini set of it and then I'm just going to pick one. So I might pick, um, let's say, I'll go with some kind of a pink light. So I click on the one I want and then I'm going to hit place. Okay, now you can move it around, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. Um, I'm going to move this so that most of our light is kind of coming right there. And then I hit commit. So then you change the blend mode. And when you find your blend mode here where it says normal and it's at the top of the layers panel. Click and then go down to screen. Okay. So now we've got a much uh, lighter image. We can see the sun, the flare part, the color flares coming through here. Turn it off before and after. Now, if you want to kind of reduce the effect and have it stronger in one area and less of the effect as the picture goes down, you can add a mask. So hit the mask icon. It adds a layer mask. And now we're going to use the gradient tool. And you want it to be black and white, and we can see that. I lowered down the layer opacity, and as we lower down the layer opacity, it doesn't look black and white anymore, but that's okay. And you want it to be on the linear. You can see the different ones here, so make sure you're on the linear. And then I'm just going to click and drag down kind of diagonally, because I want the strongest part to be right here and it to fade off. And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to click and kind of drag to this point. So this is telling it, okay, well at this point I want it to be less, so we can see it's starting to get darker right here. But we still have the flare effect, don't we? So I can change it and come down like this. Or if you want to go all the way across again, and we have more of the effect. You can also reduce the overall layer opacity. If you want to get rid of that layer mass, we can always throw it, grab it and throw it away. So there's the original, but it's lowered down to 61%. Or again, if we want to keep it at 100, and we really like that, but we want to kind of have it taper off, use that graduated filter and just kind of, oops, got to have a layer mask, okay, have a mask, pull it down a little bit, and it'll kind of taper off. So we still get the flare. One thing you want to make sure when you're using the flares that your, that your light source is coming in the same direction as the light in your image. So if we turn this off, we can see the light is coming from behind her, okay? It's not coming in front of her because we have some backlighting. Her hair is a little backlit, so I know the light's coming in from over here. You can also see her shadow this way, all right? So it, we wanted to make sure that the light came in from this direction to match with the light of the original photo. And then to finish up, you're going to flatten it, so layer and flatten, and then save it as a new file. And I usually tack something on to the end um, of the name so that it stays with its original file. But that is how you use the Sun Flare Overlays.